Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to explain some very basic general uh, purpose electronic components. So this is the outline of the presentation. I'm just uh, simply introducing uh, the, the electronic basics. This presentation is uh, for people uh, who basically uh, has few knowledge about electronics. Okay, so if you have uh, a full understanding about electronics then maybe this presentation is not for you and you can uh, move to the next presentation. So uh, then I will uh, introduce you about uh, resistors, capacitors and coils and also semiconductors and then I will explain some of the main components that we find in most of the circuits like uh, push buttons and switches, potentiometers, LEDs and relays. So let's start by some definitions so in, um, in electronics we have three main uh, definitions that they are voltage, current and resistance. So the voltage is the uh, electrical force that uh, drives current uh, from one point to another in, in a circuit. The current is the, the rate of flow uh, for, of the electrical charge. So it's the speed uh, how this electrical charge uh, moves and the resistance is uh, the tendency of a material to uh, oppose or to resist to that flow of charge. So uh, in electronics we have different kind of components. Uh, we have the resistive components, they are basically uh, resistors, potentiometers, uh, light dependent resistors. Also we have uh, capacitive components like capacitors or touch uh, devices. Also we have uh, inductive components like coils, relays and motors and uh, a very kind of special components which are called semiconductors like uh, diodes, leads, uh, transistor, triacs, integrated circuits and so on. Okay, so let's, let's see some of them. Uh, in, uh, also in, uh, in electronics uh, we have a microcontroller uh, which is the main or the masterpiece in our circuit is the brain of our smart device and it's a programmable device so it means that we can upload some specific code with the logic and the microcontroller should respond to the signals accordingly as we program it. Also we have a, a breadboard, a breadboard is a, a board with all necessary components to uh, make a, an experimental model of a circuit and we have also shields and modules which are special boards that they are ready to use and contains all necessary components to test a specific uh, electronic component, let's say like a microcontroller or any other uh, sensor or whatever. So uh, in order to provide uh, appropriate power for these uh, electronic circuits we have two main uh, kinds of power supplies. The alternating current AC or the direct current DC. The alternative current is the, the home power we, uh, we normally use for most of our appliances and the magnitude and the direction varies so it's like a sinusoidal wave and the main advantage is that it's easy to transport without significant losses. Op uh, opposite to that there's the direct current which the magnitude and direction is constant so it's a constant value and the main advantage of uh, working with uh, data current is that it's easy to work with. So uh, there are different uh, kind of uh, power generating sources uh, like photovoltaic, chemical or electrical are the main ones we, we use in our, in our circuits. Let's say using solar panels or batteries or just really our home power. But also there are other uh, power generating sources like fuel, geothermal, uh, nuclear, wind, etc. Okay, so now let's move to resistors. So let's uh, a resistor is uh, basically found in every circuit, and it's used to limit the current uh, on a specific branch of that circuit or to adapt the voltage. It the main uh, the main uh, uh, characteristic of a resistor is that it follows the Ohm's, Ohm's law, which uh, relates the resistance, the voltage, and the intensity and it's measured in ohms. A capacitor it's used to store uh, energy and um, they are uh, highly used in, in our circuits because they can be used as filters but they are mostly used also to provide current peaks in, in our uh, devices. So because they store this energy they can then release it easily. 
uh, in a direct current the uh, a capacitor just simply behaves like uh, an open circuit and also the coils uh, just uh, they they can generate uh, an electromotive force and this is uh, due to the change of flow of current so this force is used to attract uh, things like uh, like a magnet or something like that and it behaves like uh, like a wire if if we're working in DC current uh, so diodes are semiconductors is the most basic semiconductor type and they are made uh, from the union of two uh, different kind of materials they are called the n-type and p-time semiconductors they are different uh, doped uh, materials and the main characteristic of a diode is that the, the current only flows in one direction so we have to properly polarize the diode in order to, uh, to uh, drive the current there is a special kind of diode which is called Zener that they are used for stabili uh, stabili voltage stabilization okay, but uh, the most common use for, uh, for, uh, for the diodes is to allow or block the, the, the current so transistors are also made from uh, semiconductor materials and um, they can be used for amplifying signals or for switching uh, uh, applications like allowing or not allowing the current to flow and um, we can find two main types of uh, 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 transistors like B BJT they have di uh, three different layers and they have the base, the collector and the meter and the base is where we need to apply a small current so the, the current uh, flows between the collector and the meter but also we have the MOSFET it's uh, also widely used and uh, it, it can lead uh, or it can work with uh, higher currents than uh, the BGT uh, transistors thyristors and triacs they uh, can be seen like a special kind of diodes uh, a thyristor it's a controlled diode so if we apply uh, voltage to a specific uh, pin which is called gate we can allow the current to flow and the current only stops flowing when, when, uh, when it goes to zero and triacs are basically like a thyristor but they can conduct or they can drive the current in both, in both directions and we use these kind of uh, devices to control for instance to, to regulate the effective amount of uh, an alternate current uh, signal like you're seeing in the, in the, in the figure then uh, push buttons and switches they are used in many many kind of uh, devices and machines so the, uh, we use them usually to interact with them so the user uh, pushes or switches uh, uh, specific uh, plunges so uh, they, uh, they can open or close a specific circuit just simply just for you to know there are different kind of uh, push buttons or switches depending on the number of poles so this is the number of inputs and the number of throws, the, num the, the number of outputs or circuits they can, they can uh, switch and we can find, depending on the, on the, the circuit, we can find uh, uh, terminals with the NO uh, or NC which correspond to normally open or normally closed potentiometers are just simply a resistor with three pins in which one of the, the third pin is just basically a, a wipe so it's a barring resistor so we can uh, with, uh, with uh, they, they can uh, be rotary or linear and we can vary the amount of resistor between two of the terminals and they can be used for instance as a voltage divider so they can provide us uh, a, a signal that varies between uh, two different ranges LEDs it's a special kind of diode that emits light and we find them in different kind of colors, shapes and sizes and uh, we usually use them uh, in machines and processes to indicate their state like they are, if they are blinking there's an error, if they are red this is correct uh, sorry, green is correct, red is, is wrong and just simply for you to consider that the polarity in, in LEDs is important so we can drive the current properly because it's a diode uh, RGB leads is just simply a special kind of leads that they, they, they are a composition of three, uh, three leads that they, they uh, can generate light and in red, green and blue colors 
and because of the light is an additive, is additive means that we can combine them so we can generate multiple colors. And finally, we find uh, we have the re the relays, uh, which are special kind of switches that can be electrically activated or deactivated. Uh, we can think uh, of them as a coil that uh, attracts uh, the switch and a mechanical switch and then this switch opens or closes a, a specific circuit. So we can uh, electrically control the, um, uh, another circuit and they are able to drive high currents. So thank you for, uh, for your attention and uh, in this presentation just as a summary we have given uh, the very basic concepts of the electronics. Thank you very much.